Hello there. We're here with Kurt Gibbons from Arc Point Labs of Limerick. Welcome, Kurt. Thanks, Betty. Nice to be here. What well, nice to see you. Thank you for being here with us. You do a range of of services, including testing. Can you describe the ranges of the different services that you provide? Sure. Uh, Arc Point Labs is a national franchise. We do uh, main two product lines are DNA testing and drug and alcohol testing. Uh, the drug and alcohol testing is done. Um, both for businesses and individuals, so businesses who are trying to uh, do a drug-free workplace initiative and need help uh, you know, with drug testing um, and policy um, creation, okay. background checks, uh, we can help with that, and individuals who are looking for answers to DNA issues, paternity ship, immigration, um, uh, ancestry, all that, yeah. um, so we can do DNA testing, very simple test, and uh, we help them find answers to some tough questions. A lot of different services. What are the most popular ones that you do? Well, right now, one of the biggest ones we get involved with is DOT testing. Um, Which is it's what? A, it's federally mandated. Um, DOT serves several different uh, groups, Trucking Society, okay. FAA, uh, the airlines, yeah. transit, uh, rail car, coast guard, uh, pipeline, hazardous materials. So. They have a specific procedure in place that we, uh, we had to be trained and uh, trained for that procedure and that allows us to do the testing uh, specific to uh, the DOT regulations. Great, great, great. And I guess today it's, it's really important to do all these testing, background checks and testing for absolutely. individuals. Yeah, individuals yeah. or certainly for employers. Employers as um, well, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, tell me a little bit about your workplace testing. Well, most of the do? tests we do, we can do all different types of tests uh, for drug and alcohol. Um, we have the DOT mandated urine testing, um, but for other employers who non-mandated, but you know, not federally mandated, we can do hair testing, uh, nail testing. Uh, we're set up to do instant tests, um, so we actually can do screening on site, um, and we also do off-site training or on-site uh, testing. Mm, so. Okay. Instead of someone coming to us, an employer doesn't want to send their employee to our facility, we can actually go to their facility and do train or, uh, testing for them at their facility. Okay. How often is this required? It depends. Uh, a, a lot of employers do a pre-employment -pre testing, um, so they want to make sure that the person they're hiring, not only do they do a background check, but they also check you know, their history and involvement with, if drugs of abuse are involved. Um, so that's primarily a lot of the testing we do. A lot of companies, especially in the federally mandated, do random testing, and that's based on a certain percentage of your uh, employee uh, numbers, and that happens quarterly depending on the size of your company. Right. Um, and there's also, we get involved with post-accidents. Uh, if a truck driver has an accident, uh, it's federally mandated that they have to be tested within 24 hours sure, right away. Sure. So different testing like especially that. Especially with this plane crash that we just had. Yeah, you know, unfortunately that, you yeah. know. Um, Things like that you, you don't always foresee and it's hard to let, you know, to find out if somebody's holding, withholding something from exactly. you. Exactly. And that's yeah. one of the nice things about the background checks and, you know, different things pre-employment wise that employers can do to make sure that they don't have, yeah. hopefully don't have issues with employer, employees right. down the road. Right. So you do also uh, a little bit of social and family group testing? A lot, a lot surrounded around court court testing, uh, okay. depending on if someone's in drug courts or if someone's uh, in a program and they want to make sure that they're, they're staying with the program. Yes. Um, and you get involved with parents trying to help their children or other family members and, and the, you know, the, the social and the, you know, trying to just get answers and understand. Right. So right. we do, although we have a B2B side of our business, we certainly have a B2C, a business to consumer side. Right. So you're, you're testing anybody. Really? Yeah, anyone who, anyone. it could be any situation yeah. um, where, again, where an answer is required and someone wants to have knowledge of, of a situation, uh, we help them out. Yeah, great. Good for you. And also, I see you do department transportation, schools and sports. I guess they'd be a popular one probably right now. Or Yeah, in certain respects. You know, yeah. There's certain, some schools that are taking an initiative to look at the uh, extracurricular activities that go on in school, sporting events, bands, things like that and create some kind of random testing to make sure that the kids are, you know, behaving or, you know, they're representing the school and that kind of stuff. And, you know, parents are working with school administrators. And then you have also the, the, the um, uh, um, steroid issues and all that kind of stuff. And you get down to uh, synthetic drugs and prescription drugs. So there's a lot that mm, yeah. is taking place in the, 
education area that yeah, how popular is that today i mean i i go to a gym i'm not going to name any names but i see some of these people are really big and you know they're doing something uh, so how popular is that in the schools it, it's not as popular yeah, it's more of the so. synthetic drugs once in a while yeah yeah once in a while and it's watched very closely yeah. in the school districts yeah, yeah, yeah. but it, it comes down to those there's so many synthetic drugs and kids doing different things that are coming on the market that's where they really want to you know get right. a hold of some issue yeah. first before it gets out of control now do you also handle court mandated yep uh, we've had uh, judges send people to us it could be any kind of a custody issue or you know things like that but yes there's certainly uh, judges who will um, one of the biggest things right now is hair testing because hair testing versus urine testing opens up the detection window so a hair test can detect drugs from 30 to 90 days out where urine testing is only maybe 48 hours to a couple of weeks average Okay. So it allows judges to get a better his history of that individual using a hair test versus us using a urine test. Okay. How about for marijuana? What are your uh, tests for that? Uh, all, all the different, all the urine, the hair, saliva, um, all those, all the technologies available for marijuana. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Great. So you do um, DNA testing, is that right, as well? DNA testing, yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, mostly for individuals who, like I said before, want you know answers to, to certain questions that are important to them. It could be a paternity issue. It could be as simple as they just want to understand their ancestry. Um, right. They could have immigration issues where someone's trying to tie a biological connection to someone who's already a U.S. citizen. Uh, siblingship. Um, you know, all kinds of those court issues where estates and who. Who's the father? Who's the right. mother? Who's the child? <laughs> all the little intricacies. All that and stuff. And, and we even get into doggy DNA. Do you uh, we really? Have, we have kids that uh, allow owners of dogs to understand what type of breed that dog is. Interesting. To yeah. help them, you know, plan for the future depending on how that dog's, you know, genetic background says it might be dietary needs or health needs as it gets older. It allows people with dogs to understand what kind of... Great. Future they're going to have. Great. How about hormonal testing? Did you do any of that? No hormonal testing. Uh, okay. We are getting into DNA testing that's uh, it's really interesting um, business. It's called pharmacogenetics. And it, it, because everyone's personal gene makeup is different, they're looking at using DNA to identify what medicines work best with your gene makeup. Excellent. And it's a very yeah. interesting um, it's the future. industry. Yeah. It's a very interesting. So we're getting into that as well. So that's yeah, it's something like else we do. Yeah, it's kind of like customized vitamination and whatnot. Yeah. yeah, it gives a lot of information and helps people, you know, it, nice. avoid this, you know, will this work, will this not work? It gives them a better direction to, to start their medication. Great, great, great. Um, are there different methods that you do? I, I know you said saliva for different tests for alcohol and drug. Yeah, there are, uh, well, the primary one that's, you know, everyone's familiar with is a urine test. And you can do that lab-based where we actually take the sample and we'll send it out for analysis. But we also have instant tests. And, you know, we have a software program, so if someone does a urine test, and we can see it instantly, you know, as a screening test, we can get the employer results within 15 minutes. And that's really nice. Okay. As I mentioned, hair testing has become very popular yeah. because the, and nail testing for the same way they can take fingernails and toenails and, and do the same thing. Saliva testing uh, again is a very good instant test. Um, it goes out to the lab for um, to, you know, analysis, but it can also be used as an instant test as well. Um, we also get involved with sweat patches. Um, it's this patch that goes on okay. your arm. Uh, the drugs come through your sweat and gets collected yeah. on the patch. Yeah. You wear the patch for seven to ten days, but then wow. <laughs> it's, it's a full-time, 24-7 to turn. Mm -hmm. So you find they're all fairly equally reliable? All very reliable. Yeah, yeah. the technology and yeah. the companies that we work with are all accredited, and they're okay. absolutely, I mean, our point stands for accurate, reliable, and confidential. And very accurate nice. has to be the first yeah, I would imagine so. Yep. Now, who are your types of clients? I guess anybody, really. Yeah, I mean, a lot of our business is business to business. We're trying to help employers um, either update their drug-free workplace policy or initiate a drug-free workplace policy, help them develop the policy, and then, mm -hmm. you know, basically do the testing and help them do the testing. Um, so there's a lot of our business that's directed towards the employer, um, but there's also a lot of individuals, or the consumer, who... Yeah. Uh, you know, like I said, might want answers to questions and, you know, whether it's court mandated or personal knowledge or however it works, but we see both, both sides. Yeah, good, good, good. Good work. So um, what kind of fees do you charge for these? 
It varies. Tests. Yeah, the, a, a basic test may be in the neighborhood of $50 for a basic test, but it goes up from there. Um, there's panels, uh, so depending on what types of drug you're looking for and how many drugs you're looking for, DNA is a, is a higher price test. But, you know, basic test is about $50 for a urine test, and then it goes up from there. Okay, excellent. Um, now, I just, I was curious to see, is, does insurance cover tests? No. Uh, this falls under what's termed as forensic testing, uh -huh. not clinical testing. So a doctor isn't sending you here to, to do a prescribed test or, you know, that kind of stuff. So it's, it's not, it does not fall under health insurance. Okay. So pretty much everybody's out of pocket. It's, out of, it's an out of pocket expense. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Well, it sounds like we've covered a lot of different testing. That was really Anything else you want to add? For businesses or, or no, potential we, clients? We're, uh, we, I got into this business to help companies and individuals, and we welcome you to come by and visit us and um, discuss your situation, and we'll be glad to help any way we can. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Do you want to give, Kurt, the uh, website and phone number for ArcPoints? Yeah, ArcPoints phone number is 610-409-0990, and we're at www.arcpointlabs.com backslash limerick. Kurt, tell me a little bit about why and how you got into this business and a little bit about your background. Uh, I'm a local, from local Plymouth Meeting, grew up in Plymouth Meeting, went to Penn State, um, but spent a majority of my business career working in the heavy industrial marketplace and water treatment. Okay. Um, through all that, um, I was very knowledgeable about myself getting drug tested as well as, as an employer, I had to have employees get drug tested. So I was very familiar with the the process and understanding it and then I made a career change and looked at something that I knew something about. I also wanted to stay local. Um, I had been traveling a lot through through the course of many years of, of uh, different jobs and uh, so I wanted to stay local and uh, knew something about this and, and I really do enjoy helping people and businesses with something. It's a tough subject and obviously yes, uh, it is. And uh, obviously, I'm looking you know, forward to a new beginning with this company and, and helping people and staying in this local area. Excellent. Well, great. Thank Sounds you. good. Thank you. Thank you for watching the Route 422 Business Advisor Show. If you, too, would like to be featured, uh, I'd love to hear from you. Please give me a call, Patty, at 610-323-6253. Thank you very much.